Welcome back, everybody. Unfortunately, our uh, other partner, Nick, is not being able to join us today. I don't know why. He hasn't given me a reason yet. But uh, today we are going to explore our second beer that we've tried from Crystal Lake Brewing. Represent Crystal Lake because that's where I live. Um, it's called Backflip. Uh, Belgian style wit. Um, it's a CLB seasonal release, um, summer release. So, um, kind of excited to try it. And uh, we really like the uh, Fox Rocker. It was absolutely an amazing beer. Um, you haven't checked that video out? Go check it out. Um, yeah. What do you think? You excited? I'm excited for it. Uh, I, you know, we, I, I think I, if my memory doesn't lie, I think we really liked the Fox yeah, Rocker. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't think, I, I remember think giving was, it a nine. I think, I think I gave it a nine. And you know what, to be honest with you, I think that was the last time Nick wasn't here too. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since Nick was, I think Fox Rocker was back at the old place at the old studio. Or was Fox, I think, I think either, or, or was it right it was after the it was first there. one that we first one here. First one in the new studio. I'll have to look back. Yeah, that. we'll have to look back in that one. Um, but anyway, um, let's crack into them. Let's crack into them. They, are, they do come in a can as as all CLBs as all do. CLBs do. Uh, this is 5.2%. Um, 5.2%. 5.2%. Smells good right off the bat. I mean, you said it was a Belgian? Belgian uh, style wick beer. Oh, wow. So, that's good. Have you ever had a Blue Moon that's... That's kind of what that is, a Belgian-style wit. Um, but let's see if it's – Blue Moon's a pretty good beer. I know Chris is a little bit uh, – has, has a little bit of a hard time drinking. I have a Blue haunting Moon. of Blue Moon um, yeah. from um, my younger years. It's so, not a bad beer. It's just a, a haunting. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. And uh, Not much head from you. No, nah, not much. No. Uh, not much head from mine. I don't know if that's maybe. I'm surprised they're not that cold. They've been in the fridge for a while. Yeah, they don't seem that cold. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Uh, they've been in the fridge for like four hours. That's okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, I think we should just get into it. I mean, the it smells like a traditional Belgian style. Right off the bat, tastes way different than Blue Moon. Yeah. Way different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, still smooth. Still smooth. Very smooth. Uh, ooh, I like this one. I do like this one. See, I, I went into I went into that set thinking this is going to be like a Blue Moon. Be prepared to give your, like, be try not to gag. Try not to gag on the, on the camera. Uh, 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 but it wasn't. And so uh, now I'm thrown off. Yeah, I am actually. I thought it was going to be more of a blue moon taste. It's not. They. Uh... I thought I, you know, maybe I should go grab an orange. And they, they've kind of nailed that taste. That is more in a. You see more, in uh, imported beer from, uh, Europe, like Germany and uh, Belgium. That kind of, that spice taste. That's probably the coriander I'm tasting. Yeah. Uh, as it says, brewed with orange peel and uh, coriander. Um, I think that's what that is, that taste. That little spice taste to it. So uh, they nailed that, which is really awesome, in my opinion. Uh, kind of sets it apart from uh, Blue Moon. Uh, there was another one I had. Yeah. I think from Dogfish. Was that Dogfish Head? That was kind of like, it kind of still tastes like Blue Moon. Uh, this one's kind of its own. This one, uh, with like Blue Moon, you can really taste the orange. This, yeah. you taste more of that, that spice, the more spice with, the, with the aftertaste of the orange. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. Like the beginning taste is that spice, the, the coriander. 
Uh, and then and then you get the aftertaste as you're swallowing. You get that orange. And I like it. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, if it was, I like it a lot. Um, I think that this would be real great. Like, great next to a pool. Yeah. You're just, like, enjoying the sun. Yeah. Uh, and just having, like, an all-out barbecue. Mm-hmm. Like an end of the summer barbecue. This is the beer. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm going for it. This is the beer that will go with any type of food. Yeah, burgers, brats, uh, polo sausage, anything, anything on the grill, man. You can throw it on there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. Uh, excellent, excellent summertime beer. I don't know why, and I mean it goes with everything, but I'm drinking this and craving ribs. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That why. would be delicious. Ribs would be so good with this. But uh, um, and this is this one's a good one. Good job, one. CLB. Uh, CLB again, coming out strong, man. I mean, I know it's only the second one. Yeah. But I think we there was a couple times we did uh, one beer from one company, and then a little while later did another one from the same company, and it was kind of like. Yeah, like the uh, beta, uh purple haze to the strawberry. The strawberry, oil. yeah. Like, uh, like that was kind of like the strawberry was a step below the purple haze, and man, COB is just swinging. It's swinging, and it's they, swinging, it's good. swinging for the fences. I think they nailed this one perfectly, my opinion, from setting it apart from Blue Moon and all the other uh, Belgian style beers that are out there. Yeah. Um, it's like they brought. It's like they brought the taste of an imported beer into a domestic beer. You know, yeah. with that coriander, that's just. Mm. Yeah, they 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 hit everything. Like it tastes like you're drinking it, in, or yeah, an yeah, an import, beer. yeah. And you're like, but it it tastes like you're drinking a. If you're like, uh, if you're used to drinking like Miller Lite, and you're like, you know, I'm gonna go with like a imported German beer. And you're like, yeah, I mean, like it's gonna be the same, mm. except the German beer is gonna be more authentic. This is this feels like it's the authentic version. Yeah. While Blue Moon's like the Miller Lite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even though Blue Moon is good for most people. Uh, um, Chris can't do it. I can't do Chris it. Chris can't do it no more. It's okay. Um, we all have things we can't do no more because of our younger years. Yeah. But, uh, like Fireball. No. Yeah. So I, I, I thoroughly enjoy this one. This a story a for one. another time. This this one's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I paid, uh, I believe, nine ninety nine was not on sale. So nine ninety nine original price yeah, point. That's not bad. Added. Not bad. Definitely worth every single penny. Um, go my, check it out. Definitely. My yeah. only wish is that it if was colder. Can. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, I don't know why it's not. If you, it, I don't know it's how it's been it, sitting in that fridge yeah. for a, a long time. But, a while. Um. But I still think it's really good at this temperature. Oh yeah, like, like even at this temperature, you drink it, and it's not like. Like if you drink an IPA at this temperature, it's gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna like be you're, gonna, you're gonna start gagging. Like the can, the can reads easy to drink. Yeah, and I 100 percent agree with. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I 100 percent agree. Um, easy to drink, hard to put down. Definitely. I mean, like we said, perfect, perfect barbecue beer. Um, nailed the taste perfectly. Perfect balance between orange and coriander, and uh, it's got that, it's got that kind of cloudy color to it. It's got that, yeah, uh, that kind of cloudy. Um, you know what? It, you know what it almost looks like. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a old bottle of Gatorade, like. In the glass bottle still? No. No. I was watching a video, LA Beast. Shout out to LA Beast. Where he's drinking like 
a bunch of old discontinued drinks. But he actually had like an old Gatorade bottle that was still in the glass bottle from like when they first came out. It kind of looks like it, like the color, but I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. Tastes damn good though. Yeah. Damn good beer. Damn good beer, CLB. Um, definitely. Which one would you pick up? Fox Rider or this one? Oh, that's a toughie. That's a, see, that's Fox a tough Rider one. Was good that's one. a tough one. Fox Rocker. Or yeah, Fox Rider. Yeah, Fox, Fox Rocker. Rider. Fox Rocker was awesome. Uh, I believe I gave it a nine. Um, I'll start. I'm going to give this one a nine as well. Just, be, just to be fair to Fox Rocker. Because I believe my only uh, thing holding it back from being a 10 was that they don't come in bottles yet. Hopefully they do soon. Uh, me and Chris are big bottled beer drinkers. We just think it tastes better, provides a better taste in the yeah. glass. Um, provides a better pour, I believe. Better also. pour, too, yeah. Um, I, and really, that's that's my only complaint about CLB right now is they, they're not bottling. They're just doing cans. Which is probably a lot cheaper. But, I mean, yeah, it's probably cheap. I mean, they're a small brewery. Yeah. You know. Not not knocking CLB for doing for saving money. Yeah, they can you? Know? Yeah. If they can make, if they keep making great beers like this, I, you know, I you I know, it, keep canning. I, I don't, don't have care. time to. I want to go to the brewery and drink it off the tap. I think. Yeah, just, off the tap would probably be. Um, that's a video. Yeah. Well, that's a video one. When, when we, we get the opportunity. Next week. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If Nick, maybe. Even um, even if Nick doesn't come next week, we'll, we'll we'll try to do it next week. We'll see. We'll see what uh, we can do. We'll, we'll see. We'll, you know, what's on the uh, agenda? Yeah, we'll see what's on the agenda. If there's other beers out there that we see that we like, but uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'll I'll agree with you. I'm gonna put it at I'm gonna put it at nine as well. It's it's everything. Uh, it's everything I would look for in a summer, like summer yeah. beer. Yep. What I would want to, you know, barbecue. What I would want to be standing over the grill drinking. It's it, it's there. Yeah. Refreshing, and, crisp. You know, and it's not like that lemon lemonade taste that most summer beers are. Yeah. Where they go, oh yeah, you know, like we'll do a lemonade because lemonade is, you know, lemonade oh, yeah. is summer. Is summer. This is like orange, and it's it's like yeah. It's like, because with the lemonade beers, like you get more of like a lemonade feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm drinking lemonade. Like, this, like, you know, you're drinking a beer. Like Porch Rocker, for instance, from uh, Sam Adams. Sam Adams, great beer. Check it great out. Great beer. Porch Rocker, Sam Adams. It is also a summer beer, so. Um. Running out of time. Go get it. Uh, yeah, that's. There's great always one. next year though. Yes. Unless a wandering black hole comes and sets up. We won't know, but there's always next year. Um, go check out Porch Rocker. By Sam Adams. Sam Adams. Go check out Liney's, Liney we Kugels, did video on Liney Summer Shame we did. Uh, that, was, that was a spotlight video, actually, because we both had that. Um, and actually, Summer Shandy and Porch Rocker have been my perfect beers since I tried them. They've been the 10 out of 10 beers. Um, but... I think once if if CLB bottled these, I think if CLB bottled I think them, even if we go if we are able in the next couple of weeks to go to the brewery and get it off tap, mm-hmm. it's going to be a ten, yeah, easy, easy ten. I mean, yeah. like the the only reason I'm putting this at a nine and I I'm punishing CLB for our misconduct because it's not as cold as I'd like, yeah, yeah. and it's in a can. Yeah, it's, that's the coldest factor. I should have checked them. I'm gonna say I should have checked them. Uh, but uh, it's it's. Great. If you guys want to hear my excuse, we were uh, we were playing Crash Bandicoot. So uh, I mean, that's a pretty good excuse, right? That's good enough. I mean, excuse. playing Crash Bandicoot. Who doesn't love Crash? But, uh, 
So yeah, I mean, that's it. CLV. Uh, did yourself again. We got to check out more CLV. Um, because at one point they I, they can't have a great. They, we have to find a yeah an average beer from them. So we'll keep trying. I'm starting to feel like even next week we should pick up another one. <laughs> Like the next one, the yeah, maybe like the was it the s- salam? S- I don't salam, remember. Salmon, salmon, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Salmon king. Salmon king. Something like that. Uh, they have one like that. They have a beach know, blonde. They, beach blonde. That's the other one. They have beach blonde. They have a couple more that we could try. Um, I think those are year round beers too. Yeah, the beach blonde and beach the blonde salmon and uh, king. I think Fox Rockers become their year round hit. That I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to check that out. But uh, go check out Fox Rocker. Go check out that uh, video on Fox Rocker. Um, check out CLB's backflip if you can. I know it's only available in around Algonquin, Crystal Lake, Crystal Lake area. area. So uh, yeah, we got we got a couple beers we gotta try. But yeah, definitely try this one. If you're in Illinois, if you have the means, you know, to get your hands on a Crystal Lake brewing beer, go pick one up. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. That's it for me too. Um, Nick, I hope we see you next week. Hopefully, Nick comes back next week, and we get if our. If not, we'll see him later. Nick's good because he's like. Nick's like the skeptic of the, of yeah. the group. Like, like he doesn't. Nick's good because he doesn't give the beer. Like, he's not generous. Like, if it's a, if it's a bad beer, he's gonna tell you. Yeah. I mean, we'll tell you too if it's a bad beer. Don't worry about that. But this beer is great. CLB has been great for the past, for the two times that we've had them. Um. That's about it. Throw a comment down if you want to see anything. Any if you have any recommendations. Yeah, any recommendation, throw it down in the comments. We will do our best to obtain what you recommend. Um, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. That whole, that whole other thing. Shindig. Like, that whole other shindig. Share it with your friends if you want. If your friends are looking for a new beer to drink, hey, share a couple of these videos with your friends, and they could go pick it up and uh, make the decision for themselves if they like it or not. So, uh, with that in mind, stay safe. Be safe. We're going to see, see you on the next, next one. <laughs>